Good morning students and assalamu alaikum hope you all are well uh, and doing the practice of mathematics on daily basis and uh, now we are going to start question number 9 of same exercise question number 95a question number 9 is also uh, equations but here the equations are in the form of fractions we have the denominator as well solve each of the following equations here you will see 5x plus 1 by 3 is equal to 7 here we have to solve them now whenever we have the denominator what we do we will multiply here it's dividing with this values so we will move it to the other side of equality and we will multiply it so what we can do here 5x plus 1 is going to there and it will be multiplying with here because here 3 is dividing other side of equality it's go and divide with that so 5x is plus 1 Is equal to twenty one. Now again, same procedure. We will move this constant to the other side of equality. So five x is equal to twenty one minus one because here it's plus one. Other side of equality, it will be minus one. So five x is equals to twenty, and then x is equal to here it's multiplying with it twenty by five, and x is equals to. Five one is five. Five four is twenty. I think you understand this question is very easy. Now we are moving to the second part, that is B part of this question. See the B part. Two x minus three by four equals to x minus three by three. Here both the terms have the denominator. when both the terms have a denominator what we can do here we will take their lcm and we have explained the process of lcm in the previous questions as well and again we are going to do it so we have to explain it as well 4 and 3 the lcm of 4 and 3 is 12 so what we do here simply we can directly multiply with their lcm also and we can take the proper lcm also So what we are going to do here, we are going to multiply with their LCM. That is, LCM is here. LCM of four and three, twelve. Or you can say then, what we are going to, we are multiplying twelve on both sides. Twelve, two x minus three divided by four equals to x minus three. Into twelve by three. Simply four one is four, four three is twelve. Three one is three, three four is twelve. So what we get here? It's three into two x minus three equals to x minus three into four. When we multiply it, we get the values that is. Three into two is six x minus three into three is nine, which is equals to four x minus four into three is twelve. Now the same step here. We will move the variables here and the constants at the side of equality. Six x is plus. It's minus four x equals to minus twelve plus nine. Here it was minus. Then it would go to the other side of equality, and it will be. Plus nine. Here the four x is positive. Here, as you can see, the sign is changed. That is minus four x. Now we solve it. Six x minus four x two x equals to minus twelve plus nine. Again, they are subtracting with the negative sign. Minus three. So what we get? The value of x is equals to minus three by two. As two is multiplying with x, other side of equality it will divide. And we will further solve it, and we will divide them, and we get here two divided by three. Two one is two, and we get one. So 
so what is the answer x is equals to 1 1 whole number 1 by 2 but here is negative sign don't forget to put this negative sign because the sign uh, really change your answer and then you will lose the marks of the answer because each and every step has a marks I have we have done part a and part b simply we have to do only part c uh, and d e f we are not doing so you no need to mark it we are not doing these three part we are only doing part a b and c and c part is your homework question number nine part c is your h work so you have to do it again see the procedure we have to solve the equation with the denominator whenever we have a denominator it's dividing with the numerator or this expression what we can do here we can multiply it with the other part of equality because here it's dividing other part of side equality it will go and multiply when we multiply then it become a proper equation uh, without any denominator it is simple to solve 5x plus 21 here it's plus other side of equality because it's a constant it will go to the other side of equality and it will be minus 1 so when we solve it we get 5x equals to 20 then x is equal to 20 by 5 and we cancel it and we get 4 next here it is b part 2x minus 3 by 4 equals to x minus 3 by 3 here we have the two denominators whenever we have a two denominator we will take the lcm lcf of 4 and 3 is 12 we multiply both the sides with the lcm that is 12 4 into 12 uh, 4 into 3 is 12 we cancel these value and 3 into 4 is 12 and then we get simple product 3 into 2 x minus 3 and x minus 3 into 4 when we multiply them we get the variables and constant we move the variable keep the variable before the equality and constant after the equality and then we solve it at the end we get 2 x minus 3 and where 2x is multiply this 2 is multiplying with x other side of equality it will go and divide and x is equals to minus 3 by 2 further we divide it because it can be divided by 3 by 2 and we divide it and we get minus 1 whole number 1 by 2 this is your answer and if you have any query regarding these uh, questions regarding the question number 8 question number 9 you can inbox me and question number 9 part c that is very easy here 3x minus 1 divided by 5 and x minus 1 divided by 3 it's just like question number b that is 9b here you have to take 4 and 3 lcm here you have to take the lcm of 5 and 3 and then you will multiply with this first expression and the second expression before equality and after equality these will denominator will cancel with the lcm and then they will turn into the simple form that one side will be the variables and other side will be the constant and then you will solve it still if you have any query you can inbox me